Hey guys, Brent, hanging out here in the back bay at Ware, the only place to really let me roam free. I don't think I can hurt myself here. And uh, I want to tell you what we're doing today. Um, this is a little segment that we call Steam Culture. And this is where I go find some interesting stories or facts or little tidbits about steam. And then I tell you how they interact with culture because I'm a story guy. I love a great story. And there's all kinds of stories out there about how steam, you know, historically how it came about, how we use it. You guys already know we make all kinds of cool stuff uh, with steam, uh, dog food, paint, tires, uh, hot pockets, hot pockets, you know, could there be anything better created with steam than a hot pocket? Where did that all start? When did we start using steam? So I went back and looked on the internet, which is a source of great information, always reliable, as you know, and I found this thing. Uh, way back in first century Rome, and there was an engineer and a mathematician by the name of Hero, and he created this device that was uh, called the aleopile, and you'll see it over here on my right. So we have a fire, and we have this sphere that holds the water, right? And then you have this ball that rotates on the top. It's connected by two arms with these bearings, these little arms right here, okay? And once you heat that water and it begins steaming, um, the water that's in the sphere in the ball, comes out those nozzles and it starts to rotate that ball. And what I found was that it was rotating at like 1500 RPM with only 1.8 uh, pounds of pressure. Really cool. Turns out that uh, Hero made this thing to uh, amuse the emperor um, as they sat down and just show him that he could make motion out of steam. So that's, that's part of the steam heritage. That's where part of that, that thing started. So hope you found that was interesting. I'll be here each Friday with a steam culture kind of minute, and we'll look at where steam has interacted with our culture. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Thanks for watching.